I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear Howe's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to the city. We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the Wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad, and very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the Darkspawn tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them, and it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure except that it began with a group of Anders soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinta themselves. They were the first ones to track down the archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear Howe's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to the city. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. Good luck to you, then. We will have to talk again when the land's meet is more settled. As you say. <laughs>